today. This video is going to be on WeFlow troubleshooting. So anything that could be going wrong inside your WeFlow, we're going to address here. First thing I want to talk about is I get a lot of people that um, tell me that theirs are opening like this and they can't find the source menu. Um, that's a very, very simple fix. You just press the B button on the back of the Wii Remote and it will take you to the source menu. So no matter where you are, no matter which one you're in, B button will always take you back a step. It will always take you back. Okay? Okay. Um, another thing I want to mention is uh, from time to time... Oh, there's another good one. Okay, so if you go into one of these and you see select partition, it says we've not found any plugins. Please select partition. Don't panic. Don't think your games are missing. It just means that your um, SD card is set or USB drive is set to the wrong partition. So right here, the third one down, game partition, all your retro games, all, all of them should be on SD. So I just selected what Game Boy Color, I think, and it was set to USB 1. You want to make sure it's set to SD. So now, uh, see, so there's all the games that it just said weren't there. Okay, so now... If you see the same thing inside WeFlow or USB Loader, unless you got an SD card only. Oh, I actually do have a couple of games. I was hoping it would give me that error message. But um, it, if it gives you the error message in the WeFlow and USB Loader GX, then that means uh, it's also set incorrectly. So game partition will most likely be USB unless you buy the SD card only from me. Okay, and then obviously everything will be on the SD card. Okay. Um, another thing I want to mention, for those of you that purchased the I want it all, or the two, the one terabyte and the two terabyte option, you have more than one hard drive. Okay, it's very crucial that every time you want to switch hard drives, you um, turn completely off. And when I say turn off, I mean the little little right. Excuse me, the little light on it is red, not orange. Orange is sleep. It's in sleep mode, so everything is still running. It's still on. It's just like in sleep mode, just like your computer. So for it to be red means the hard drive is shut down and everything is shut down is off, okay? You need to do that before you switch hard drives. And then don't unplug the hard drive from with the cord in the back of the Wii. Just unplug the hard drive from the cord and plug in the next hard drive to that same cord. It makes the switching of the hard drives very simple. It only takes about a second. So turn the system all the way off so the hard drive is off before you switch hard drives and then switch hard drives. Otherwise, you will corrupt your hard drive. Your hard drive will become unusable if you unplug it while it's running. They're not made to be unplugged while they're still running, okay? Another thing, the very, very top of my ad, I mentioned that the, ga the hard drives are not accessible on your computer, on your PC or, or Mac. And I have a lot of people that say, I plugged it into my computer and I'm not seeing any games. It is like that intentionally. You will not be able to use these on your computer, but they will work 100% on your Wii and or Wii U. You can even take it off your Wii and use it on your Wii U and it will work absolutely fine. So if you want to switch it back and forth, it works fine, just not on the computer. Okay? Alright, now um, on the last video I already talked about downloading covers. Um, we talked about switching the um, hard drives out if you have multiple hard drives. Um, now, another thing I want to mention. Okay, here's another th good thing if you have multiple hard drives. Okay, so okay, so these are the games on this hard drive. So I go, oh, I want to play some of the games that are on the other hard drive. So I turn off the system. I plug in the next hard drive. I come back, and I'm like, what the heck? All the games are exactly the same as what they were on the last one. Um, they're not. What WeFlow does, unlike the other loaders, is it creates a catch. It creates a virtual snapshot of the covers. It does that so that it doesn't have to read the, the covers every single time you enter like configurable USB loader and USB loader GX does. It makes it a quicker, easier uh, option to choose in your games. Okay, so when you switch your games over, you'll still see the games or the catch from your last one but if you were to select a game and try to play it you're going to get a black screen with it. it'll say exception DSI and a bunch of letters and your system will freeze because the game itself is not actually there it's just the catch okay so so I uh, took out the other hard drive I switched the other hard drive and now you all you have to do to fix that press the home button reload catch alright it's going to reanalyze 
the contents of the the hard drive or the SD card okay um, so you have to do that every single time you switch uh, hard drives in both Wii and GameCube you don't have to do it in the retro because the retro on the SD card and the SD card should stay in your console at all times uh, don't ever take it out and you never need to worry about that the none of these loaders will work if you don't have the SD card in that's another thing I get asked a lot is once I install all the stuff can I take the SD card out no for two reasons that's where all your loaders run through and it's where all your retro games run through so obviously if you don't have the SD card in you're not gonna have any retro games to play okay because you're not installing all the retro games or playing off the SD card alright so we talked about switching hard drives okay so now say you got a bundle from me and you have a hard drive and an SD card and they both have Wii and GameCube games on them okay so you want to switch them it's just like before you press the settings or you can press the home button and go settings and you want to change game partition okay so if you have games on your SD card you just select SD card press the B button on the back of the Wii remote see and now there's different games for me okay now you may get the same thing as when I was talking about the multiple hard drives you may get the you know it'll still show the covers from the other one so you just home button reload catch so if you're getting that exception DSI option or if you go into play a GameCube game it'll take you through Nintendo and it'll say um, I don't know it gives you some error message I can't remember exactly what the error message is but it's in red lettering when you go to start the game it you it's the same thing you need to come back into Wii Flow and uh, reload catch okay all right so let's see forgive me I took a drink okay all right, now I want to talk about another thing. For those of you that get an SD card only, if you get an SD card only with either just retro games or just Wii and GameCube games, um, it's highly recommended that you get something what I call the flash booster. It's basically just a flash drive, okay? So you can purchase one from me, and I can either put games on it for you or just send it to you um, as is. I don't generally charge you any more than it costs me for shipping and the cost of the item. <coughs> forgive me okay so what it is is all three of the loaders that I include um, are USB loaders so they all look for a USB device now we flow does not require a USB device but it does function much faster and better with a USB device so now if you didn't get a hard drive from me you need a flash booster you don't have to have one again but it is highly recommended so you don't have to purchase one from me you can buy one from Amazon I think they're between five and seven dollars or even at Walmart or Target or whatever you have close to you just get the cheapest flash drive you can get just you know if you can find one for five dollars just buy the cheapest one you can pop it into your computer and you want to format it to NTFS NTFS um, will give you the fastest boot time with no games okay and then you just want to plug it into the rear left USB port or the one closest to the edge if you have it laying down the one closest to the outer edge of the Wii it doesn't even have to have any games in it just having a USB device um, will give it the good time especially if you have Wii and GameCube games the games will take a very very long time to start up and load without a flash drive on and it's simply because it's looking for a flash drive or excuse me any type of USB device every single time it starts okay so okay so we went over the flash boosters the switching hard drives the reloading catch um, let's see I got my little list here alright let's mention one other thing okay so if you ever play any of the systems most likely it's retro though and you select a game and you click play and the Wii Flow logo right here see it right here if it ever starts to load and it just keeps loading and keeps loading and keeps loading and keeps loading and you're like when is this thing ever gonna start chances are it froze and you need to restart so you have to go up to the system and you have to hold down the power button and restart it okay so it doesn't happen all the time but it will happen from time to time just like that that logo right there so if it loads for more than about you know 10 or 15 seconds chances are it froze most times if they freeze they don't freeze in the game they generally freeze at the startup of the game okay so you just go up and you hold and restart it now another thing that I have had happen to me a couple of times is, um, yeah, that hap that that WeFlow logo. 
but I've noticed as silly as the sounds, um, if you use smooth motions on your Wii remote, because if you have the, you know, if it's doing this, it's almost like it confuses the Wii and it doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing. So make sure your, your batteries and your Wii remote are, are, are good and your sensor bar is somewhere where you can see it real good and just make smooth motions down to the play button and it almost always works perfectly. Okay. Now if you notice that you click a game and you click play and it does the Wii Flow logo and it just keeps doing it over and over and over no matter which game you select, um, I would just highly recommend to choose the um, game console of your choosing or the source and just home button, reload catch. My favorite slogan is when in doubt, reload catch. Okay, so what you're doing is you're telling your console to reanalyze the contents of either your USB device or your SD card, whatever, wherever the games are stored that you're trying to access. Okay, um, so if you continually have problems, it may just not be reading off the right um, directory. So, you know, the game just keeps failing and keeps failing, and you're like, I know I've played this game before. I don't understand why it's not working. So let's say I'm having a 64 game that's not working. I would just come in here and go home button, reload catch, and then try it again, okay? Um, another thing I want to mention while I'm right here is if you see the ones that have the question mark on it, you see that one says Wii 64. It's actually a, it's a setting for the emulator. It's a... a um, it's a file for the emulator, so that one's not a game. I would just leave that one alone. Generally, before I send them out, I turn on the parental control, um, and then those ones are gone. And then see all the, then I have set those, um, system files. A couple of these emulators have them. I think Neo Geo has them too. Um, just the system files will have big question marks on them. Okay? Okay. So, let's see. The only the other thing I can think of now is um, a couple of... I only have about 10 Wii games that are in European, that are European format. Because I just simply couldn't find uh, working copies of a U US, uh, U.S. version of that game. Now, the game were absolutely fine, but on a rare occasion you may find a game that plays in black and white. And it generally only plays here in... Uh, we flow okay so let's just say mario kart i'm starting it it will probably look fine here but when i start it the game will play in black and white okay so we're gonna fix that so first of all you gotta unlock parental controls okay so b button twice to go back here so mario kart's playing in black and white you just go right here to settings so see video mode is set uh usually it's set to default okay you want to just change it to NTSC. That is the USA uh, version of the game. Okay? So if, you, if you're getting a game that's playing in black and white, come back in here, go to settings, go to the last one on the first page, video mode, and change it to NTSC. You don't need to save settings or anything. You just go back and play the game, and it should play absolutely fine now. Okay, guys, so that's all there is to the Wii Flow troubleshooting. If you have any other problems whatsoever, Send me a message at Wine Country Signs with a Z instead of an S at the end of signs at yahoo.com or Wine Country Games at gmail.com or send me a message through eBay and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much again and have a wonderful day.